Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing about series resistance micrometer. So this is a simple device which you can measure high voltage DC. It is a direct method of measurement of high voltage DC. You can measure the high voltage DC up to 500 kV. That is a speciality of series resistance micrometer. So I have drawn the basic diagram of series resistance micrometer over here. You can directly observe here. Now I will be discussing about the construction of series resistance micrometer. You can observe a diagram of series resistance micrometer. The main component of this device is wire bound resistor. That is the main component. Wire bound resistor is the main component of series resistance micrometer. Uh, it is in the range of mega ohm. We need to select a very high value of resistance. That is a, a peculiarity. Moving on to next component. That is actually micro ammeter. As you can see, this is a micro ammeter. Usually, we place the micro ammeter in the range of 0 to 10 micro ampere. So, that will be always connected series to the high value of resistance. You can observe directly over here the resistance and micro ammeter that will be always connected in series. Similarly, we have we have to ensure the protection of this micro ammeter. In order to protect the micro ammeter, we will be having a protective device as I have shown here. In case any impress current passes to the particular meter, it may be spoiled directly. To, pre to prevent that particular meter, what you are going to do is, you will be connecting a protective device. So that the value of impress current will be reduced. So current will be splitting from two parts. It will receive two parts. So that the splitting action will be taken place. Moreover, it ensures the protection. Okay. So that is the importance of this protective device. You can observe here, protective device that will be connected parallel to the micrometer. So, we will be ensuring that my, your micrometer will be safe. So, that is a speciality. Now, let me ask one question. How about the cooling? How about the cooling arrangement? Normally, uh, we used to go for oil type cooling or sometimes we will be going for direct air cooling. So, we have to maintain the cooling for the particular device. So, direct type air cooling or you can go for uh, oil type cooling. So, both the type of coolings are possible in case of series resistance micrometer. So, this is the basic construction details on series resistance micrometer. Let me explain the working of series resistance micrometer. Actually, I would like to measure HVDC. HVDC has to be measured. That's my target. Okay. So, HVDC will be applied. You will be applying uh, the high voltage DC in this direction. Okay. You have to note down the value of resistance. So, value of resistance value of resistance has to be noted down. It is in the range of mega ohm. You will be connecting one micrometer which is series to the resistance. Depends on the application of high voltage DC, you are able to get one reading. So you need to note down the reading of this micrometer. So two parameters you will be getting. First one is actually the value of resistance. You need to note down. Second thing is uh, the reading of Series resistance micrometer. This micrometer gives the reading of current. Depends on the application of high voltage DC, you will be getting the current which is passing through this area. So you can apply Ohm's law. According to Ohm's law, voltage is directly proportional to current. Or else you can write voltage is equal to R into I. That means how much HVDC you are applied. How much HVDC you are going to apply. So that is directly proportional to product of the value of resistance and current. How right. much voltage you are going to apply externally, that you will be getting the product of the value of resistance in the range of mega ohm. That should be multiplied with the, the current that is in the range of micro ampere. So, if you multiply both, you will be getting how much high voltage you have applied externally. I hope you understood how does series resistance micrometer operate. Now, let us discuss pros and cons of series resistance micrometer. By looking at the diagram, we can say that construction is very simple. That is 100% true. Similarly, less cost. It is a cheap device. It is not that much of costly. Then it is very easy to operate it. These are the advantages regarding uh, serious resistance micrometer. Now let me discuss what are the drawbacks of serious resistance micrometer. The first drawback is more power dissipation. Actually, there will be I square R loss. Power is equal to I square into R. Okay, this I square R loss will be more in case of this device. 
Similarly, temperature effect. That means, if you are operating very long time, the temperature is getting increased. You know the heating effect of electricity. H is equal to I square into RT. Whenever current is passing through a resistor for a very long time, definite amount of heat will be dissipated. Okay. So, it depends on the heat, what is going to happen. There will be a temperature rise in that particular resistance. Suppose there are two types of material, positive temperature coefficient of material and a negative temperature coefficient of material. Uh, if the value of resistance is made up of, if the resistance is made up of positive temperature of coefficient of material, as the heat increased, as the temperature increased, what is going to happen? The value of resistance is getting increased. Uh, this may cause some kind of errors in the device. It may create some kind of errors. Whenever you are applying high voltage DC, definitely there will be a fluctuation. There will be a variation. You will be getting the wrong reading. Okay, that's a problem. Similarly, source loading. That means the resistance that is actually consuming some amount of power. Because the device itself consumes some amount of power from the supply. So that effect is known as source loading. Because you will be using resistance over here. So definitely, whenever... Whenever it dissipates the power, definitely the resistance will be dissipating definite amount of power. I square R, you can calculate I square into R. So, we can say that the device will be responsible for source loading. Now, let's look at next point. The voltage depends on resistive element. The reading, and the reading that will be depending on the value of resistance. You need to have a wise selection. Otherwise, uh, you will be getting error. You will be getting wrong reading. So, while selecting the resistance, you need to be very much careful. So, value of resistance will be in terms of mega ohm. So, while choosing, you should have a good observation. You should have a good uh, design. Then only uh, the device is successful. Now, let's see the next drawback. Poor sensitivity. Some, some wide range of voltage cannot be detected by using this device. That is, that is why it called it has very poor sensitivity. Similarly, accuracy is very less in the range of 0.2 percentage. Accuracy will be calculated as only in the range of 0.2 percentage. It shows very poor accuracy. Though it is a simple device, it shows poor accuracy. Okay. Now, we can say that it is too sensitive to mechanical stress. That is another drawback of series resistance micrometer. So, I have listed out the various drawback of series resistance micrometer. We can conclude that this device operate based on the principle of Ohm's law. So, while choosing resistance, you need to be very much careful. So, resistance value plays most important role for the measurement. Then, basically the device is very simple. But, we found lot of drawbacks. You can list out lot of drawbacks. However, for some kind of application, for some extent we can use uh, the series resistance micrometer. Why? Because construction, uh, the maintenance, everything will be simple. Uh, the cheap, overall device is too much of cheap. It is not that much of costly, so that is another advantage. For the complicated situation, complicated application, uh, we cannot use, we cannot adopt series resistance micrometer. I hope you understood the session. Thank you for watching this video. Please share and don't forget to subscribe.